What's up guys, my name is Liam, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Wise Owl OGM Pro. This has been one of the most impressive gaming mice that I've ever reviewed before. However, is this gonna be the perfect gaming mouse for you? Let's check it out. All right guys, and here we got the Wise Owl OGM Pro. And just a quick disclaimer, I wanna let you guys know that MetKeys actually sent this mouse out to me. So MetKeys, thank you very much for that. However, with that being said, as you guys know, I'm always gonna give you my honest and truthful opinions on this mouse. And for those of you that have watched my videos in the past, you guys know that if I have something to say about a mouse, I don't just say it, I go ahead and I demonstrate it for you and I show you guys as well. And I also wanna let you guys know that I appreciate you guys watching my videos so much. However, if you are looking up to pick up this mouse or any other mouse in the future, I recommend you checking out as many different videos about a product as you can because obviously people are always gonna have different opinions and people are also gonna have different experiences with the products themselves. And the reason I'm saying this to you guys is because I've done a lot of research on this mouse. There's been some differing opinions about it out there on the market and I'm just gonna go and tell you flat out that my experience with this mouse has been extremely overwhelmingly positive. So inside the box you do get some extra sets of PTFE skates. You get these little tinier skates you also get an extra set of the bigger ones that also do come installed on the mouse. And also included in the box is these grips. These grips feel great, nice premium quality. Also included in the box, it does come with this cable and this is a USB-C connection. And then it also comes with this dongle adapter. And then finally included is this bag, which is a nice touch for storing the mouse. All right, and when it comes to jumping into the build quality of this mouse, this is gonna be one of the easiest mice to talk about when it comes to build quality. I can tell you guys that I have tested tons of mice and this is honestly one of the most premium quality filling mice that I've ever tested. When you grab this mouse, it just feels so solid. My copy does not have any creaking, any bending, any flexing. It just honestly, it feels perfect. The feeling that I get when I have this mouse in hands is something similar to what a Vaxi or Zowie mice would feel like, except for with my copy of this mouse, the quality on this is so perfect. It's been better than any Zowie or Vaxi mouse that I have ever personally received. When you come to the bottom of the mouse, it has these bigger skates on there. The bottom skate looked kind of weird to me in the pictures. However, I do want to let you guys know that I've had absolutely no issue with this skate, the design, anything like that. It feels nice and flat. It doesn't feel uneven in any way, shape or form. Form. the glide feels perfect and you don't even notice any type of difference with it or anything like that. As you can see here, there is storage for the dongle and this is where the dongle does come included in the mouse. And when you drop the dongle in here, it has this nice little magnet in it so it just sticks in there nice and easy and has a lot of room so it's really easy to pull and get out of the bottom of the mouse. And then the bottom cover is magnetized as well so it just drops and sticks right in there, no problems at all. And as far as the functions on the bottom of the mouse goes, you just have this one button in the middle. And when the button is centered, the mouse is turned off. If you were to switch the button over here to to the left side, it's gonna enable the Bluetooth mode, which I never use. And then if you were to switch it over here to the right side, it's gonna enable the 2.4 gigahertz dongle mode. And then also when it comes to the skates, the skates truly feel great. I've had no issues with them. The glide feels perfect on them. I don't feel like there's any need to get aftermarket skates or anything like that. They are nice and rounded on the top and on the bottom. The middle skate is kind of bigger and it is flat. It kind of has sharper edges. However, I didn't notice it being any type of issues with performance when I was using this mouse. And back over here to the top of the mouse, like I told you, the shell feels extremely soft solid on this. I cannot activate the side buttons on my copy. I don't notice any like major flexing. It just overall feels solid. There's no creaking, nothing like that at all whatsoever. And when it comes to the switches, this is where this thing gets really impressive. This does have the TTC gold switches in here. However, on my copy, the click implementation on this mouse is just absolutely incredible. There is literally absolutely zero pre-travel on my click and zero post travel. These mouse buttons are incredibly solid. There's no play at all whatsoever and the clicks are just absolutely perfect on my copy. And I can truly tell you guys, these are some of the most impressive and most premium clicks that I've ever felt on any gaming mouse. I was using this mouse over the weekend as I was playing Diablo 4, and I honestly just couldn't get enough of the clicks on this mouse or the overall feel of it. It just felt so great in the hands, and I couldn't seem to get away and put it down. So the way that I gripped the mouse is I was gripping it like this when I was playing with it, and the clicks honestly just feel absolutely perfect from this point. And if you do grip the mouse from the very front of the buttons, there is still zero pre-travel, and zero post travel. However, if you were to push the button down and put some force on it, you can bend the button to actually touch the frame. But again, they're nice and tight 
and nothing that I noticed any issues with at all whatsoever. And then moving over the scroll wheel, the scroll wheel does kind of have that big chunky rubber on it that reminds me of the Zowie mice or the Vaxi mice. However, it doesn't feel too loose. It's nice and tight. And I do want to say that the scrolls on my copy, the scroll is perfect. The steps on this are nice and defined, but it's not overdefined like on the Zowie mice where it's just really clicky. It's honestly very smooth easy to spam and very reliable but at the same time it's very tight and crisp and then when it comes to clicking on the scroll wheel it's just honestly it's just perfect it's nice and easy to spam it's not too heavy it's not too light nice and crispy a good middle point just really easy to use and it feels really premium and then over here at the top we have the dpi button i never noticed any issues with accidentally hitting the dpi button any type of flex anything like that and i mean even the dpi button is spot on with no pre-travel or post-travel on it as well. And then moving over the side buttons, my copy has some of the best feeling side buttons that I've ever used before. The front button has zero pre-travel. It has a little bit of post-travel, but not much. And it's really solid once you push in, if you push in really hard to it, it's got a really nice strong backing and it doesn't push into the mouse or anything like that. And then on the rear side button, it has very minimal pre-travel just a very slight bit, but it's almost not even that noticeable. And the rear side button has almost no post travel. And again, just overall, this thing just feels solid. If I push in, if I try and rock the buttons back and forth, there's absolutely no play. It just feels all around solid and just a premium implementation of it all. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop a sound test for you guys so you can see what all the buttons sound like. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up the build quality here. And like I said, I can't stress to you guys enough how perfect my copy has been. It's honestly been mind blowing for me. This is honestly one of the best quality mice that I've ever tested out. And the feeling of this mouse is just absolutely incredible. All right, next up when it comes to the weight of this mouse, it looks like we got this mouse weighing in at 70.4 grams. And one of the most impressive things with this mouse was I thought that the weight was gonna feel a lot heavier than it was. But one thing I'd like to report is that the balancing on my copy on this mouse, it feels absolutely perfect, spot on. In fact, it's so good, you don't have to just pick it up from the middle. You can kind of come from the back a little bit like that before it starts to tip towards the front. And then you gotta come up towards the front quite a bit before it starts to tip towards the back. But overall, the balancing is just so solid. You have such a good central point of this mouse that it just feels absolutely spot on with the balancing. And honestly, it makes a mouse feel a lot lighter than it is. And another thing that can be tricky to do is getting the left and right balancing on the ergo mice perfectly. But as you can see here, they pretty much nailed it spot on. Front to back, left to right, all around the balancing on my mouse is so perfect. It truly makes this mouse feel lighter than 70 grams once you have it in the hands. And when it comes to the performance of this mouse, I truly had no issues. This mouse features a 3395 sensor. It has a Nordic MCU in it and I installed the software. One of the things I did when this thing came out of the box is that I thought that was really cool is I was looking on the website and they actually have a pro competitive firmware for this mouse. Now, unfortunately, I was a little too excited when I got this mouse and I was having such a great time gaming with it. I just immediately installed the pro competitive firmware on here. So I didn't give it very much time to see if I noticed a difference from the original firmware or the pro version. But I do wanna say that overall, when you install the software on this mouse, all the settings on it are great. It has motion sync enabled. It has a really low to bounce time, even though I did adjust that down to zero. But overall, I had no problems with the performance of this mouse. I thought it felt nice and snappy and great and honestly felt like it competed with some of the best offerings out there. This mouse does only have a 1K pulling rate. It would be pretty cool if it did have the 4K. But aside from that, like I said, I have no complaints. The performance is incredible. When it comes to the coating of this mouse, this mouse has an incredibly smooth feeling to it. And the one thing that I wanna let you guys know about this mouse is even though it does have an overall smooth feel to the touch I will tell you this is honestly for me personally has been one of the grippiest mice that I've ever used like I said I've been using this mouse for the last few days it's been extremely humid where I'm currently at and I have not had a single issue with this mouse slipping in my hands it's been incredibly grippy and I'll go ahead and demonstrate to you here 
when you're pulling your fingers along the side of this mouse, my fingers just stick. So for me personally, I've had absolutely zero issues with how the mouse feels or how it grips in my hands. All right, and then finally, let's jump into one of the most controversial parts about this mouse, which is the shape. When I'd first heard about this mouse or heard that it was on the way, I was expecting to get just a pure ergonomic shape. And though this mouse is pretty much an ergo shape, it's truly honestly kind of like a hybrid shape. And in the hands, the best way that I can describe the shape of this mouse to you is it's kind of like a hybrid ergo ambi shape. So as you can see from the back, it definitely has the ergo style shape. However, the hump up here on the left side of the mouse is actually really low compared to all the other offerings out there. And when describing the top of the slope from the left to the right side is it does feel a lot more similar to an ambi styled mouse in my opinion than it does an ergo mouse. And as you can see here to the rear, it clearly has that ambi shape, the way it curves around. However, if you were to look here at the front, again, you could slightly see that curve from this side of the mouse over to this side to where your pinky would be. But as you can tell, it's a much flatter mouse. If you were to hold this mouse from the very front, this truly feels like an Ambi mouse if you're just to hold it from the front. So I can truly tell you guys right now, if you are a hardcore Ambi user, you might not like the shape of this. However, with that being said, I absolutely love the features. To me, it feels perfect. And I really truly feel like the fact that they made this a hybrid makes it something completely different and unique that stands out from anything else that's currently on the market. And the reason that I've enjoyed this mouse and this shape so much, aside from the extremely premium build quality that my copy came with, is I just feel like this mouse is just so much easier on very various different types of grip styles. It truly allows you to use a bunch of different grip styles and it makes it much easier. For example, with the flatter sides towards the front of the mouse, it makes this mouse much easier to fingertip grip with. I also found out that this shape is much more comfortable if you're to do like an aggressive claw or just any type of a claw grip. A lot of issues that I've personally had when I've tried to do claw grip on ergo shaped mice is the side of the mouse is just a little too slippery for your ring finger and your pinky finger. And with the more aggressive cornering, it's just really easier to grip on if you prefer to grip the mouse more more towards the back. So as long as you don't have too long of fingers or too big of hands, with my hand size, I personally didn't have any issues gripping it like this. But again, with that edge right there, as you can see, if you had to bring your hand up just a little bit more, I see how it could be an issue for some people. And then when it comes to the thumb side of the mouse, again, for my hand size, the thumb just worked perfectly. I felt like the side buttons were placed perfectly on here as a nice and flat side. It does have this groove in here for your thumb. And again, just with how I hold the mouse, holding it towards the middle or towards the rear, I preferred to game with the mouse like this. And I know this is the grip that you usually use on an ambi style mouse, but again, it just felt so comfortable with this grip for me. And my thumb just set right here in this groove, nice and perfectly. So I just wanted to try and be as clear as possible with the differences, trying to help you guys decide whether or not this shape is gonna work out for you or not. All right, so first up, throwing this up against the Death Adder V3 Pro. As you can see here, this is clearly where all this is gonna stand out and what I'm trying to talk to you guys about. Overall, the bottom of the Death Adder V3 Pro, it feels a lot longer and it makes the Death Adder just feel a little bit bigger in the hands to me. And one of the reasons why the Wise Owl feels so much smaller of a mouse to me, as you can see, they don't look that different in size, but as you can clearly see, the Death Adder has to slowly taper off and it kind of sticks out more towards the bottom here and it just kind of feels longer in the hands when you're resting your palm on it. And the Wise Owl just has this real subtle, quick taper off towards the rear that kind of makes it easier to do different types of grip styles with. And overall, the top profiling of these mice, the Wise Owl just feels like a shorter mouse overall compared to the Death Adder V3 Pro. And then here from the back angle, you can very clearly see what I was trying to describe to you guys. If you look at the Wise Owl mouse here to the left, it looks almost more similar to an Ambi style mouse. Whereas on the right, the Death Adder has this really high aggressive curve right here, and it has a much more aggressive slope towards the right side of the mouse. And then as hopefully as you can see from this angle here, the way that this mouse tapers off is just a much smoother slope down towards your pinky finger, whereas this one does kind of have more of that aggressive edge right there on the right side of the mouse. And again, the best way to describe these mice overall even though they look pretty similar in size, it doesn't have as high of a hump towards the top in the middle. It doesn't feel as long. And the Wise Owl has far less aggressive features compared to any other Ambi style mouse that I've ever used. All right, and then next up when it comes to the Pulsar X-Lite V2. And as you can clearly see on both of these mice, if you look at the front, this is where you definitely notice a big difference. Again, looking at the front of the Wise Owl mouse, it looks almost like an Ambi mouse from the front, whereas you can clearly see the slope here on the Pulsar mouse. And though on the X-Lite V2, it kind of does have a bit of a sharp curve right here. It doesn't stick up and it doesn't feel as pronounced or more aggressive as the Wise Owl does. And then when it comes to the curve on the X-Lite V2, as you can clearly see here 
on mouse one, it's much higher and a bit more aggressive here on the left side of the mouse. Whereas the Wise Owl looks incredibly smooth and something more familiar to an Ambi style type mouse. And then over here on the top profile of the mice, you can clearly see the x V2 does sit higher and it kind of has that slower taper off again towards the rear, kind of sitting on your palm a little bit more and overall feeling a little bit longer in the hands. And again, where the slope on the Wise Owl, it's just more aggressive, it tapers off quickly and overall it kind of makes the mouse feel like it's shorter and overall a smaller mouse in the hands. And then coming over to the side of the mouse, as you can see here, the Wise Owl just feels a bit flatter, whereas the curves on the side here are a bit more aggressive going lower towards the middle and then flaring out more towards the top of the mouse. And then really quickly, I wanted to throw up the X-Lite V2 Mini. Now I do want to let you guys know the X-Lite V2 Mini does actually feel smaller than the Wise Owl mouse. However, if you look at the length of them with how the curve goes on these two mice, they honestly feel pretty similar in terms of the length of the mice. However, with the X-Lite V2 Mini, same thing as the X-Lite V2, it does still have all these aggressive curves on it. I do feel like the X-Lite V2 Mini does feel lower to the ground. The hump on here on the left side of the mouse probably sits a little bit higher than on the Wise Owl. But again, aside from the length, if you're to look at the width of these mice, honestly, the Wise Owl feels just a bit wider. The Wise Owl feels more similar to the other mice when it comes to the width of the mouse. But when it comes to the overall length and size of the mouse, I would feel like the length and the way that it just feels in the hand front to back, it feels more comparable to the X-Lite V2 Mini. So if you're looking for a shorter, wider version of an Ambi Ergo style type mouse, then the Wise Owl might be the good choice for you here. And just one thing I like to point out here is you can see the hump right here. It does come out a little bit further than the Mini. Again, as you can see here, they look pretty comparable in overall size and length. But again, the Mini just feels a little bit smaller in hands all around. <laughs> And then for a quick comparison, I just want to throw the G Pro Super Light up here really quickly. As you can see, they have about the same width as far as the front of the mouse. Obviously, this is going to feel wider towards the rear, and it gives you a little bit more of that pinky relief. I do feel like the Wise Owl does sit a little bit higher with the hump as the G Pro Super Light. However, the G Pro Super Light just kind of has this flatter feeling, way longer feeling in the hands due to its slow taper from the middle of the mouse to the rear, whereas there's a very aggressive taper from the top middle of the Wise Owl back to the rear. Overall, just makes the Wise Owl feel like a much shorter and smaller mouse when in the hands. All right, and here they are stacked up next to each other. Overall, the Wise Owl just seems like a bit of a wider and bulkier mouse with an overall shorter feeling in the hands. All right, though they are nowhere near the same thing, the last thing I want to throw up for you guys here is the Vaxi XE Wireless. Honestly, the way that the mouse slopes up in the middle towards the rear of the mouse, they feel pretty similar on both these mice. As you can see here, the Wise Owl, it sits a little bit shorter and it doesn't feel as long as the Vaxi. However, I kind of felt like just the shape with there being a high hump right here and kind of tapering off more aggressively towards the rear had kind of a similar type of a feeling. Now, don't get me wrong, these mice feel nothing alike compared to one another. And as you guys can clearly see here, the Wise Owl does sit a bit higher. It does have these more aggressive curves on it, being more like an ambi shaped mouse towards the front of the mouse. However, I just kind of want to throw up the Vaxi mouse here for comparison between these two to kind of show you guys what you're looking at as far as the size goes. All right guys, so that wraps things up here for the Wise Owl OGM Pro. And again, I can't tell you guys how much this mouse has impressed me, how much it's shocked me, how much I've truly been enjoying the mouse. Again, I know that that's gonna be subjective based on each person, but again, I just wanted to try and show you guys as much as I possibly could all the features of this mouse. And again, for me personally, I absolutely just love this mouse. I love everything about it. I love the shape, I love the uniqueness of it. I love how they try to do something different. So for me personally, the mouse is just working. I love it. And honestly, this thing is gonna stay on my desk. All right guys, so if you have any questions or feel like there's anything that I missed out, please let me know down in the comments below. And 
if you are interested in picking up this mouse, I went ahead and left the link down for you in the description if you are looking to support the channel. And if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.